Hey folks, in this video, we're taking the basket case BMW back to the track. In the last video, the weather was still warm and humid, and the car ran mid-14s in the quarter mile. But now it's winter in Florida. A cold front came through and the weather is pretty brisk, at least by Florida standards. I was curious to see if the cooler weather would make the car go faster. However, this track day almost didn't happen. When I started the car that morning, the cog of death warning light was on. That means there's a fault in the transmission, and it put the transmission in limp mode. I didn't want to get out the diagnostic equipment and set it up, so I let the engine warm up while I got ready to leave. After a few minutes, I turned it off and turned it back on, and voila, everything was back to normal. So I said YOLO and headed to the track. Unfortunately, I got there a little late. Plus it was a Sunday and the track is super busy on Sundays. So I had to wait a long time to make my first run. While I was waiting, I watched some racing.
had to wait almost two hours to make my first run. There were a lot of racers there and it takes a while to go through all of them. But now it's my turn. Before each run I spin the tires a little bit to clean any debris off them. Doing a burnout on street tires is pretty pointless. Street tires don't get any benefit from getting hot. And it wears out the tires faster. When I get up to the starting line, I hold down the brake pedal with my left foot and rev the engine with my right foot. That takes all the slack out of the drivetrain and preloads the torque converter so the car will launch faster. That run felt pretty good. The car ran great, but I was eager to see if it went faster than before. Fourteen point two at ninety six miles an hour. That's three tenths of a second faster than last time. I'll take it. That's great. Now let's queue up and wait for another run. Because it was so busy, I had to wait about two and a half hours for the second run. While I was waiting, I checked out some of the other cars. There were a lot of really cool cars there, and there was a huge variety of vehicles. Everything from station wagons and pickup trucks to purpose-built race cars. One of those cars was an E36 BMW. This car looks like something out of a Mad Max movie. He installed an LS series V8 with a turbocharger. He built this car for the Grassroots Motorsports Challenge, so he had a tight budget limit. Also this 69 Chevelle SS caught my eye. This car has a 632 cubic inch big block V8 in it. He said the engine produces 850 foot pounds of torque at the wheels. Unfortunately, he was having some trouble with the hood. The bolts that attached the hood to the hinges tore through the fiberglass in the hood. We tried to rig it up with some zip ties and a piece of paracord so he could make one more run. Finally, it was time to make my second run. By this time, it was early afternoon and the temperature was warming up, so I didn't think I'd be able to beat my first run. But if I could get close, that would prove the first run wasn't a fluke. Let's see how it goes. Alright guys, we backed it up with another 14.2 pass. This one is 14.2 at 97 miles an hour. Previous was 14.2 at 96. Not bad. So the second run was a tiny bit faster than the first one. That was a pleasant surprise. So this proves that cooler weather will make the car faster. Also, in the previous drag racing video, I said I wanted to get in the 13s with the stock engine and transmission, but the car is already down to 14.2 seconds, 
and I didn't do anything to the car. I just had to wait for better weather. So getting in the 13 should be pretty easy. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you next time.